Hi guys, Tech James here. In this video, I will show you guys how to install a brand new OpenBot emulator onto your PS Vita. So I actually made this video maybe about three or four months ago, I can't exactly remember, but I used the Adrenaline PSP version, but somebody has actually made a VPK version, it's really nice, and it was only made roughly about three or four days ago. So if you guys want to get this and install it, you want to go ahead and just open up VitaShell, and now once VitaShell loads, you want to go ahead and press select connect your PS Vita to your PC and I will show you guys what to do next. So on the computer I will leave two links in the description and here is the main link to the emulator. So yeah I did do a video on this a while ago I'm using the PSP version and there was not a VPK at the time so this was made on the 2nd of January so what was that like four days ago so maybe the developer saw my video it's possible who knows and if you guys want to get this all you want to do is just click on the download link right here and it will bring you to his github page. Um, so once you're on the github page all we want to do is download the um, openbot.vpk so just click on that and it will begin downloading okay so once that has finished downloading you guys want to go to the second link in the description here is a mega page with tons of homebrew sort of um, open board games these are all custom made so i am allowed to give you the link to these and um, yeah these are all made by people and um, some of them are old some of them are quite fairly new like 2015 some of them are even 2018 and yeah we just want to scroll down and find a game you like the look of so there is actually a game that i want to check out um, I did actually mark it, here it is, Night Slashers X, make sure it's in the pack format, once you find a game you like the look of, just right click it, um, go to download and just do download standard, this is just going to download the pack file for you, so simply just give it a few seconds, they're not that large in size, ok so once it has done downloading, you want to go to your downloads folder and we can find our two files, our VPK and our pack file. Now if we go back on the GitHub, it actually tells us where to put the pack file. So we need to create a folder um, called OpenBore and then Packs. So let's go back to our Downloads folder, right click, new folder, call it OpenBore. Okay, click off of it, double click to go in it, right click, new folder and call it Packs, P-A-K-S, and then just click off of it. Back to your downloads, we need to drag the Night Slashers X pack into the open ball folder and then into the packs folder. So that is literally it. Now this open ball file folder right here, we need to put this in the data folder on our SD card. So we're just going to drag and drop that in. And now there's just one more thing left to do, and that is just drag and drop the openboard.vpk on the root of your PS Vita's SD card or memory card. So that is literally it for the PC. We can now go back onto our PS Vita, and I will show you guys what to do next. Okay, so now we're back. We can install the VPK file. So let's go onto our UXO, scroll all the way down, and let's just try and find on here. So here it is, openboard.vpk. Press X, X again and now it will start installing. So just give this a couple of seconds and then it should install. And now once it has finished installing, we can just close out of VitaShell and let's go and find the app on our home screen. So here it is, it's got a nice logo, got a nice design to it. Let's just go ahead and start it up. Now as soon as you have a game um, in your OpenBot emulator, it's going to load um, so as you can see I copied across that game to my pack file and it's just going to load up automatically. So let's just give the game a few seconds just to load up. Okay so once the game loads up, um, and these are basically like arcade games so you can actually configure quite a lot of options. So you press X to go into options, we've got video options, sound options, you guys get the idea. Loads of stuff in there, how to play, hall of fame. Let's just go ahead and do start game, um, new game real quick. And I'll show you guys some gameplay. Um, of course this has working sound and everything like that. Let's just try and start up a quick game right now. So it looks like we get to choose our character. We can select, let's select Jasmine. So I actually really like these games. They're really simple. Um, they're quite nice as well. They're like well made. There's quite a lot of like weird ones. There's even some like Pokemon ones on there. Um, some like homebrew games that people have made. And they're actually pretty cool. Um, obviously these games are a lot better on the actual arcades. But they're still run perfectly fine on the PS Vita. And there's plenty of different options that you can change about them. 
So just like most emulators, um, you would actually just press start just to pause the game. So you can just press it and it will just pause like that. And you can just press the home button when you want to exit out of it. So that is pretty much it for this video. That is the brand new OpenBot emulator for your PS Vita. It's actually really cool. So if you guys enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one.